Have you ever been in a situation where the person who was normally in charge actually wasn't? Maybe it was that no one actually listened to them. Or maybe they actually had to check with someone else to see if they did do what they wanted. Whatever the case, the fact remains that while they had the title of leader, they actually weren't. This can probably be considered a companion to my Empowering Leaders video, which will be linked either in the description or around this video. Because really, this video will go into power structures a bit, as well as who really has the power in those structures. Because here's the love about leadership, in that your title, your reputation, or your place in the hierarchy can mean nothing in some situations. Now, there's two scenarios I want to talk about in particular, but the primary reason why both happen is for the same reason. There's a difference in perspective. A key element in leadership is being able to communicate your perspective and vision, as well as why people might want to agree with where you're going with things, oftentimes because you reveal that there's something in it for them. Yet, all too often people will rely on their title, their reputation, their position, or anything else as to why people should listen to them. And as I pointed out in a previous video, if they try to maintain a tight grip on that power, the power is probably not going to last that long. Because people will tend to follow whoever they trust the most, as well as who makes the most sense, generally because those people who are making the sense know how to talk to the people they're trying to lead. Which brings in the first scenario, which is a concept called shadow leaders. And it's probably best explained with an example. So let's imagine a business, like a factory, and a manager is explaining all the ways that they've come up with to boost productivity to the workers because it's time to make some changes around here. The manager believes that because of his position, the workers will just do whatever he says. But what happens after he leaves is that all the workers turn to this one worker to find out whether or not they're going to make those changes. That one worker is the shadow leader. They may not have any sort of title that separates them from the rest of the workers, but regardless of all that, the workers will follow what they say. Naturally, this can provide both a threat and a boon to a leader, depending both on the situation and how it's handled. As it ends, some people really like to hold on to power. On one hand, if the shadow leader is set against you, then you probably won't be able to make much headway in what you want to do. And there's even the potential that if you try to make an example of them, a lot of the other workers will watch as well. On the other hand, you only really have to win over one person when there's a shadow leader in play. As instead of having to basically cater to the individual desires and wants of everyone else, you have one person who's already gotten them to buy in. So you only need to get them to buy into your idea. To be honest, finding about the shadow leader concept is also what inspired me to make my The But Snow Character Reads video, which will be linked around here as well. Because it actually made me see The Last Jedi in a different light, because I realized, oh yeah, Poe was a shadow leader. To Zidin, reputation and title does not mean that people are going to trust you, especially if they are stressed or there is someone they do trust, offering them solutions that made sense to them. And there isn't really a way to outrank a shadow leader. You either have to get the people to trust you more, which will probably mean time, investment, and communication beyond what you've been doing. Or you may just have to get rid of the upstart, which can end up backfiring it completely. In any case, a shadow leader can be easily missed, but it's hard to ignore their influence. And since we've brought up influence, let's get into the second scenario, which is about who actually makes the choices or calls the shots? In other words, who has the ability to say yes or no to what the so-called leader wants to do? This is a bit different from a shadow leader because where a shadow leader may be somewhat outside of the traditional hierarchy or power structure, those in this example are actually a part of it in some way. Even if they may be considered or looked at as subordinate in some cases, they still have some ability to veto or sabotage a plan or proposal, sometimes because it is their department, or maybe they just control their purse strings. Because after all, if the resources aren't available, then most plans will remain ideas. Of course, in this scenario, it can be somewhat easier to track once you know it's actually in play. But once again, how to deal with it may depend on the situation. 
It could be as simple as communicating your plans or listening to what those issues with those plans are, and then adjusting how you've either been communicating things or what the plans actually are accordingly. In other cases, some people are set against us, or they have their own agenda to follow, and they may not work with those who don't follow their wishes exactly. At that point, it may be better to part ways with them as a bit of a no-deal option, since you wouldn't be able to work with them anyway. Another option would be to at least find some way to get leverage comparable to the time they're exerting. Again, these are both situations that to make us question who really is in charge, which I believe is a dead question for both our lives as well as the stories we enjoy and create. But those are the example sets that doubt me. Do you know of other situations that made you think about who really was in charge? Why not share some in the comments below? And if you enjoyed this video, you can like and share it to help others see it as well. Anyway, I'm Jonah, and you've been watching Lions Main Media, where we celebrate stories and the lessons we learn from them. Talk to you later, and have a great rest of your day.